You know, before I left for Hawaii, on my short trip to Hawaii, I ordered a, a pair of jeans. Actually, I, I won a pair of jeans on eBay for such a good price that I couldn't uh, turn away from it, right? It is my second Japanese made salvage from Japan blue jeans. So I want to talk a little bit about that because the more I read about it, the more it is becoming a special pair of jeans. Quite interesting. Okay, so welcome back to Stylish Grease Monkey. I think hopefully this uh, video comes out because I'm using my phone, but you know, I want to make videos of uh, realistic things. So as I'm walking here, ooh, thunder, huh? Not good. <laughs> anyway, the place in Okayama, Kojima, that makes jeans, uh, there's a mill there called Collect. Okay, sorry, I got caught off because there's lightning and thunder and I'm trying to get out of the way, trying to walk my dog here. Uh, but going back to the Collect Mills. So the Collect Mills makes this really high quality salvage denim in their old school looms. You know, the, uh, the uh, loom factory that was left here in the 1960s, 1950s, 1960s, anyways. They're still making denim there. They're still making salvage there, and they make it by hand, which is what makes me very interested in purchasing salvage, Japan salvage. What is interesting was the materials they use for this type of jeans, the Japan blue jeans that I have right now, uh, is the cotton that came from America and Australia. It's a 100% cotton blend. Uh, but of course, all the work and the dyeing process is done in Kojima, uh, which is high end, of course, and that's what everybody kind of looks for. So, you know, just kind of wanted to point that out a little bit before I present to you what I bought. Very, very interested and very, um, you know, much like it. So, anyways, it's raining now. I'll talk to you a bit. All right, guys, so I'm glad to be able to come back and make videos again uh, when it comes to my salvage jeans. Under the Blue Japan group, there's the Momotaro and, of course, the Japan Blue Jeans. Do I think that the Japanese is better than the American denim? I don't think that. I, you know, my Brave Star has very high quality, and I know there's a lot more American denim uh, and also meals that make American denim. In fact, this particular jeans right here is a conglomeration of uh, Australian and American cotton in which they use as raw materials for making the salvage jeans. Uh, they do command a higher price because of the fact that they're still made in this old loom factory and uh, meticulous attention to detail is what the Japanese are known for. So their jeans are very expensive. But there are comparable jeans out there, comparable denim out there that's made all over the world that can be at the same capacity, same rate or same uh, quality as the Japanese denim and I don't doubt that. But for now my focus is the Japanese denim because the Japanese do uh, reproduce these type of old school classic look jeans and, uh, and they re look really cool. It's like true to the task, right? Uh, in 2010, this Japan Blue Jeans was established. Uh, before that, the company had a lot of experience with providing service to many jean companies all throughout the world. So they used that experience to create the high quality uh, Japan Blue Jeans that you know today. And of course, they are a factory that listen to their customers' feedback. And you know, you provide a feedback to um, Japan Blue Jeans and they will 
eventually study it. And that's why you see a lot of current cut, uh, slim, tapered, things like that of current um, generation. So this high tapered uh, version of this Japan Blue Jeans was released uh, and was highly anticipated for the release because it is a direct relation to that um, feedback from the customers. The jeans are built for like lifters, I guess a lot of lifters that provide feedback. And that's why when I got it and tried it on, I was pleasantly surprised that the jeans fit me really, really well. I mean, I've complained about um, buying jeans in the past and that buying skinny jeans or just straight cut jeans that doesn't fit my thighs because of, uh, you know, it's not the biggest thighs, but the ratio of my waist and my thighs are kind of off a little bit, right, with all the lifting that I've been doing. So I'm glad that these jeans came about. Now, I'm not going to compare it yet to the Brave Star that I own because I have other things to say about that later on and probably a whole new video about comparing Japan blue jeans to my Brave Star. So the model jeans I got is the JB0612, which is the high tapered model. You can purchase this jean still. I just looked tonight, which is, it's like mid-May 2021. And uh, right now they're out of, of stock, but you can still order it. And I've read the reviews down below of the people that have ordered it all throughout the world and gotten really great service from uh, okayamadenim.com uh, and gotten the jeans really, really quickly. So you can still order it. It's right now, it's running around 167,000 yen, or I'm sorry, 16,700 yen, which is about 150 US dollars. I think you won't be disappointed if you purchase it from, from them. Now, as far as sizing, uh, make sure you pay attention and make your own measurements based on what they provide on the sizing. So if you go to the website, they have both the sizing for centimeters and the sizing for inches because like I'm an American and I use inches, but they have converted it and it tells you exactly what the sizing are. The model that I got is used, but the gentleman that I bought it from, it was the original owner, has worn it for about a year very lightly and has one wash. Uh, the only thing that I didn't, I didn't like about it is that when they washed it and dried it, I think they left it all crumpled up. So there's a couple of creases that, across the, the jeans um, when it was left to dry like that. You know, you have to make sure that if you wash something like this, like raw denim or salvage denim, uh, because the indigo um, does start to kind of fade. That's the reason why you get the fade, right? When you wash it. And when you're wearing it, the indigo falls off or it just kind of starts to fade. And if you leave those creases that are diagonal, then you're going to have diagonal creases on your, on your jeans, on your, on your pants. It's not that bad. I think I can still correct it. But that's the history behind the jeans that I got right now. Uh, this particular one is 16.5 ounces. Um, you can tell a little bit more heavier than my 15 ounce Brave Star jeans. Uh, but not much difference. Once you start wearing it, it's very comfortable. It's cool. I've worn it in the middle of summer and uh, the beginning of summer now in May. It's a little bit hot here, about 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and uh, it's, cool. it's cool to wear. This type of salvage jeans was made hairy, you know, sanforized uh, jeans. And the sizing they have, everything, the length of everything, the inseam is 35 and a half. And I think if you order... They will, they will give you, if you don't ask to, um, to hem it, they will give you the length. And the, what I got is the original length, and I like that because now I'm able to do a double fold and show a little bit of the uh, chain stitching above, and also, of course, show off the selvage. And this comes with red selvage, right? And that's beautiful. If you look in the inside seam, there's, uh, they use a cotton thread, blue thread, that's unique to Japan blue jeans. And I love that uh, detail. And, you know, that's why I understand why you have to pay a premium price for Japanese salvage because of the attention that they've paid and the details of the product that they, that they provide. So just real quick, a couple of the uh, information that's on the website that's pretty accurate when I measured it is that 
the waist is actually 34 and a half, which is almost 35, right? There's some stretching happening because every time you wear it, and of course when you watch it, there's a little bit of a shrinking and stretching going on. Um, the front rise is 11.6. The back rise or the rear rise is 15.4. Upper thigh measurement, this is all in inches, is 13. Knee is 9. 0.4 inches and the leg opening is seven and a half inches. Lastly, the inseam is 35.4 inches long, which makes it a 36 really in my opinion. Another unique thing about this jeans is that the back, the leather patch is actually stamped by Tanner Goods of uh, Oregon. So, you know, collaboration between two uh, great factories there uh, with, with the jeans and the, and the leather goods in the USA. Other unique details of the jeans, if, you, if the back doesn't have, the back pocket doesn't have a design, which adds into the classic look of these jeans, really. It's like a five pocket, you know, um, AKA Levi's design, I guess, right? Uh, other special features of the jeans is that the front pocket, if you look inside, is they get the signature red selvage in the, in the front pocket, this front small pocket. The inside pockets are lined with pan blue jeans, blue lines are. If you look at the rivets, they're supposed to be gold brass rivets. And if you look closely in the back of the rivets, they, are, they have a design on them. The front buttons for the uh, jeans, the flies, have the blue jean Japan design on it. Really great details, of course. Japan, you know, workers, especially the uh, salvage uh, makers are very proud of what they do and they're very meticulous and that's why you pay a uh, you know a high price for uh, Japan jeans right but I'm very proud of this buy I've actually worn this thing two days in a row when I got back because it just felt so good to wear it you know it's it's nice material uh, it's you know in my opinion half ways to being broken in uh, because the previous gentleman uh, had worn it and washed it and uh, I think I'm just going to keep it like this. I don't wear my jeans as often as I want to because I do have a few choices of jeans, right? So I kind of rotate through them and I do have my favorites. But as years would come, I will make reports and I will make videos of the status of the jeans. Like I said, I keep track of my wear and how many years I've had it and my, how many washes by jotting it down in a little journal. So that's how that's going to go with most of my jeans and most of my salvage jeans so I can keep track of their fading, keep track of the changes that's happening to the jeans. I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, I'm very proud to be an owner of Japan Blue Jeans and uh, I've always kind of tried to keep track of them. Uh, I'll have more. I'm sure this is not the only time that I will own salvage jeans made in Japan. I am in a hunt for jeans like Ironheart, you know, jeans uh, that's made of 100% salvage denim and made in Kojima uh, factory down there in Okayama prefecture. So that is all I have for you today. Again, please, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. Lastly, I am trying to get better at my Instagram. So if you have an Instagram, please go visit my Instagram page uh, and I will see you there. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Hi, if you want to watch more videos like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button right there or right here. Also, I have an Instagram page. Check it out, Stylish Grease Monkey. I'll see you there.